Hey tribe, Donna here from Transformational Healing and today I want to talk to you about my favorite herbs and oils that are used for the full moon. So I have a very extensive blog about the full moon energies and all the associations of the herbs and oils that are commonly used for the full moon. And I also have my full moon oil and full moon incense that I sell in the shop. But people have asked me what would be my go-to herbs if I was just to grab a few. So today I'm going to share with you my five favorite herbs and six favorite oils that I would use for the full moon. So when it comes to herbs and oils for the full moon, there are so many. They are in a great abundance. Um, in the blog that I mentioned, which I will post a link to down below, um, there are 20 different herbs that I have listed there. And that is probably not even the full list of all of the herbs that are available. Um, in the incense that I make, which is here for the package, you get a half ounce. Um, but to see it up close, you can see lots of different herbs. There are 10 different herbs in the incense that I make. So even that isn't paring it down a lot. So I came up with a list of five. Um, my first one, I guess I won't say that these are not in a specific order for the five. It'd just be the top five. Um, the first one is rose. So rose to me is about love and bliss and bringing in that um, peaceful energy, that healing energy, um, soothing, and roses just have that essence of happiness. But they're also known to bring balance and strength, of course, to our hearts. Um, they do help to increase your psychic abilities or your psychic powers a little bit, and they've been known to be used for protection as well. Number two is jasmine. So jasmine to me is about love on all levels, the spiritual level to the physical level. Um, it does have some slight aphrodisiac properties to it, but um, overall it raises that energy vibration, it raises your energy up, and it's used for spiritual connection and also for divination and dreams. Um, number three would be mugwort, which to me is all about divination, scrying work, trance work, journey work, meditation. Um, it does raise that energy vibration and increase your ability for psychic powers and all the different clairs that are around there. So I think that adding mugwort to that for the full moon to help bring in that extra energy and that extra connection is just a really great idea. Um, and then I say frankincense. I usually use frankincense tears um, when I use frankincense. And frankincense is all about spiritual connection and spiritual growth. So helping to connect you to the divine, helping to connect you to great spirit, um, working with that, I don't know, it just kind of like lifts your energy up. It will raise your vibration, uplifts your spirit, um, and that power, and kind of fills you with a little bit of strength as you go to do your workings. They're often used Frankincense is often used for consecrations and oaths and that kind of thing to work with binding. Um, but it also brings blessings and protection to your space as well. Um, and that slight altering of things also will help with transinduction, meditation, and to... The way that I put it in my little booklet that I have for free on the website that you can download is that it helps you to gain insight to the future. So a little bit of work with that divination because it opens you up for a little bit of clarity. 
Um, the last one I'm going to put in my top five is lotus root. So lotus root um, is often used in Egypt for protection and blessings and purification, but a lot of us like to also add lotus root for that sweet smelling aroma that just brightens your energy. It um, enlightens you, it lifts your energy, and it brings this clarity. Um, it brings like clear thoughts, um, pleasant thoughts, it helps you to focus your intention and clears your mind to enable the other herbs to help you to work with divination. So it just kind of brightens you. So together, and all five of these are in the 10 herbs that are in here, um, but together, I think that those would be a great go-to for the different herbs that I would choose for full moon rituals or full moon offerings. Oils that I would recommend, and those oils are actually, I narrowed it down to six. There are actually 16 on the website blog. And those six oils are actually the six that I chose from the mix to put into the full moon oil that is available in the shop. So when I work to combine oils, I'm not only looking at the intentions and working with intentions when I create the oil that I'm going to use for that purpose, for that ritual, but I also look at the different levels of scents, whether there's low notes and high notes or medium notes, and do all of the aromatherapy things that go along with that for the blending. So the six oils that are in this um, are bergamot, which is an uplifting orange citrusy scent, um, and it really works amazing for balancing your spiritual energy and balancing your mental and emotional energy as well. Um, and it brings that sense of strength and success and wealth and all of those things that we want to bring up as the moon is coming to fruition, you know, bringing up that strength and that courage and that manifestation stuff. That is everything that bergamot brings to the table when you talk about that as an oil. Um, it's also quite yummy in my favorite regular tea, which is Earl Grey tea. Um, cedarwood, and we've been talking about cedarwood a lot recently on the channel. Um, we talked about it in the um, protecting your space with roommates thing. Um, we also talked about it in the last live, which would have happened on April 2nd. So the live about... Um, working with your creativity and doing crafts and things and how to focus your intention with crafts. We talked a little bit about cedar wood in that because we were talking about protection and smudging. Um, but cedar wood really helps with protecting, centering, and grounding your energy. And it also grounds out negative energy that would be around you and are in the space. Um, so it's a calming, it's soothing, that nice um, being in the woods type of feeling. Um, it relieves nervous tension. It relieves stress. It just has that soothing type of, not a mothering energy, but just that soothing, calming, maybe going for a walk in the forest type energy that it surrounds you with. Um, but it often is also used for divination, which is something that we are usually doing around the full moon. Um, and it brings a little bit of strength and healing into our energy fields as well. Um, number three here is juniper. So similar to cedar, finding yourself in the middle of the forest, um, I usually like to use juniper berries in the incense, but I use the juniper essential oil in the oils um, because it it kind of helps to dispel apathy and confusion and anxiety and it brings in that sense of healing and that sense of strength 
and that centering energy as well but it kind of just uplifts your spirit a little bit so it works really well together with the cedar wood and together they create that lower earthy but a little bit uplifting tone as we go through so the next would be sweet orange so similar to the bergamot it's a very happy fill you with joy type of energy um, and it's uplifting bringing in all of those feelings of happiness love luck prosperity all of that kind of thing and it does also help to relieve your stress and tension so those scents of citrus that bring in that relaxation vibe actually kind of lift your energy up and help to spell all the tensions or any um, stresses that would be holding you back from being in ritual um, and then of course frankincense which we already talked about in the herbs side to me here frankincense and an oil really helps to connect you to spirit and a little bit of that protection vibe and all of those other things that we already talked about and then I also like to add myrrh when I do oils for the full moon because it kind of fortifies your energy body it strengthens it it's like a direct connection to source with protection and purification and it really helps to deepen any state of meditation or trance work that you're going to be doing it's a very deep earthy scent that just pulls you to center it allows your body to heal and to fill your heart with compassion and it also brings in or is said to bring in love and luck and prosperity so that is why i like to add it to the list so as you're considering what herbs and oils to use for your own rituals now that I've shared some of my favorites with you, you can find the full list over on my blog about Full Moon Herbs and Oils Apothecary on the Transformational Healing by Donna.com website. But in that article, we also talk about what are those intentions for the full moon and what are the energies that the full moon carries. And you may have gotten a hint from some of that with the different things that I talked about, what uh, why I like to bring those things in, and why I like to use which herbs and which oils. But to me, the full moon is in general about that completion of the cycle, the coming up to the last, final, um, fulfilling of all of the things that you've been working for, all of the manifestations that you're working for. And that's as it comes to its point. And then as it just starts to wane is when you have to do that quick look and to let go of any of those loose ends that you were not able to tie up before the full moon and to let those things go and release the old pattern of stuff so that as the moon starts to wane, then you start to go inside and really look at that pattern but it's all about completion of that cycle and growth coming up to the full moon and then as it starts to wane down the other side, the letting go. So it depends on when you're doing your ritual and what your intention for that ritual is. And if you want to know a lot more about the energies of the moon cycle, you should check out these two videos over here and many blessings and I'll see you guys real soon.